Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for December. So December 2018 for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these, then we're going to use that deck. Generally my readings are love readings, but this is not a private reading, so it may not be for you. Okay, so this is for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? The timing is fluid. This could resonate now. It's being recorded at the end of November. It could resonate in December at any time. So if it doesn't resonate right now, check back at the end of the month. Okay? Or it could even resonate in January because the timing is fluid. So if it doesn't resonate immediately, you know, this is, a, you know, going forward. So remember that. What does cancer need to know? Ooh, couldn't get any better than that now, could it? Absolutely not. I'm going to zoom this in once we get the cards. Victory. Absolutely. So you are, you are going to get some sort of victory here. You know how it's got to be just right. All right, so. Cancer. What does cancer need to know for the month of December? What can they expect? What can cancer expect? Oh, well, there's competition here with the Five of Wands. There may be some tension. You may be feeling some tension at this time. It looks like we have a battle going on, okay? There's some sort of battle. Mm -hmm. The hair font. You could be dealing with a Taurus. But this is about listening to your inner guide. It's about faith. It's about believing in yourself. Following your own path. This is a card of faith and trust. Trust in your own inner guide. This is also um, guidance. Receiving guidance. Whether it's from a mentor or another person or from your inner guide. Okay? Now, this does represent the sign of Taurus. Now, we do have two fives. Okay, fives are about changes and choices. So, whatever's happening is going to lead you towards victory. But there's some, some kind of choice that you have to make. And it may be in regards to who you're dealing with. Because these people are playing a game. And you want to keep playing games? You know, he's this nine of pentacles reversed. This is like huh, lack of abundance. You may be feeling like you're going through some sort of, well, you are, you're going through, something's not making you, you're feeling there's insecurity here. And this would be insecurity. Something is not enough. Now this could be giving up your independence as well. Getting into a commitment. This is a card of commitment. Giving up independence. You may be getting into some sort of commitment, Cancer. Or if you are already in a relationship, it could be going up to the next, ne next level where you're getting engaged or even getting married. Because this is marriage. Or you're just meeting the person that you're going to get committed to. <laughs> oh, oh, the Ace of Wands. Lack of passion. Lack of growth. Oh, well, there is some tension, so that would make sense. Hmm. 
You may be dealing, you may be with somebody that there's competition. Interesting. Now, for some of you, this could mean that, you know, you want to be alone and you're not alone yet because there's competition. Maybe you're married for some of you because this is for thousands of people. Some of you may be like, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I'd rather be by myself because there's no more growth. I don't have any passion left in this situation. I don't know. Uh-oh. But that's a good in reverse. The three of swords is like coming out of this period of hurt. So you may be deciding, you know what? I'm not going to play this game anymore. I'm ready to heal. I'm ready to forgive. I do forgive. I believe in myself. Another five. Five, five, five. I just want to be happy. This is the five of swords. Reverse. I want to be happy. It's no longer wanting to prove myself. I'm not going to play this game anymore. I'm not going to prove myself to you. I'm not going to prove myself to anybody. I'm not playing this game. It's time for a change. I'm making the choice to forgive and heal. <laughs> The devil, of course. Now, the devil brings toxic situations. Somebody hasn't been involved in a toxic situation based on lies. That's what this is. Based on sex? Addictions? Codependency? Ego? Greed? Whatever it is, the devil brings don't bring nothing good. Maybe good for a minute, but it don't last. It don't last. There's no growth. The devil brings instant gratification, but it doesn't never grow into anything good. So, hmm. somebody may have ventured outside of the relationship. And now, you know, somebody is saying, you know what, I don't need competition. I'm not going to compete for your heart. I'm going to follow my own path. I'm going to believe in myself. And I'm going to make this choice to release this tension, this competition, this... <sighs> lie. Yep. Yep. Page of Cups reversed, emotionally unavailable. Somebody, it's like they threw the love away. Look at it. It's like, that's not love, whatever it is. I'm no longer going to give you my heart if I have competition. If you're gonna if you're gonna treat my heart like a game, I'm worthy of commitment. I'm worthy of um, happiness. I don't even have to prove myself to you at this time. Uh oh. Ooh. So, yeah. Okay, Cancer. Look, we have the moon here. There's lies. There's deception. There's something going on behind the scenes. That's what the moon brings. The moon brings something, secrets. There's something hidden here. Thing is, you know it. Your inner guide has been telling you this. Your inner guide knows that there's something going on behind the scenes. There's some kind of secret and, you know, with the moon and the devil, it's, it's like somebody uh, went down the wrong road. Maybe, maybe, you know, they were tempted, you know, by, for sexual reasons and now the love has died because they did that. Whether it was you or the other person, you know what I mean? It's like no more passion left here. Or maybe they ventured outside of the relationship because there wasn't enough passion, whatever the case is. But there's definitely some sort of demons. I mean, there's a demon in this car, and this is a demon as well. Somebody has 
some demons that within them that are driving and unfortunately now it it's it's a heavy load with this 10 of wands it's like <laughs> it's overwhelming somebody is feeling overwhelmed with hurt by the looks of things you know what I mean I can't I can't allow this to happen I can't allow this to to I can't allow myself to be treated like this somebody is I think that there's, I mean, there's an oper there's a chance that somebody could decide, you know what, I, I'm going to shut myself off to this connection because there's no abundance, there's no security, and I've been cheated, okay? So somebody may have cheated, and now the other person in this dynamic is like, you know what? I'm not going to play this game. With this moon card, there's there's been absolute <laughs> there's there's been some deception and it's overwhelming. There's overwhelming burden. Now there's baggage that is added on to the commitment. It's like I just want to be happy. I don't need this baggage. And I feel like for somebody that's watching this, they've been holding on to this baggage. It's now the this is a this is a the devil is some sort of karmic tie, and here we have lack of self worth. I mean, with the nine of pentacles, it is self lack of self worth. It is. So somebody and so they they followed their. They were tempted. They took an offer. And now. It's like the secret is being revealed. Or it has been revealed. There's def you could be dealing with a Pisces. We have Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Taurus. We have Capricorn. Either way, there's been many people involved. Absolutely. And now, you know, with these fives, five, 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 this is like major change. Five, five, five is major change. And it's also a card of personal freedom. Five, five, fives, personal freedom. Changes that lead to personal freedom. So somebody may be deciding, you know, to break this chain or with this toxic situation, whatever it is. Because I want commitment where there's trust trust there's definitely been some power struggles here between two people instability mm, the hangman wonderful Back and forth, back and forth. It's like you, this. There's a very unstable situation. You may, you or somebody that you're dealing with may be afraid of attachment. This is the master of non-attachment. You know, you may want to resist this change, right? You may want to resist it. You may be going back and forth on this, but you must struggle through it. This card says you need to see things differently. What are you worth? What are you worth? Somebody has been sacrificing themselves in a situation that is untruthful. Okay? Seriously. Untruthful. Dishonest. I mean, I can't make that up. And because that they're staying there, hanging on, they're blocking happiness. Because the Five of Swords reversed is happiness. It is. It's reversed. Blocking happiness. By living a lie. 
deceiving themselves, knowing that something's going on behind the scenes. Somebody knows that there's a secret here, they do. And they've try, been trying to block it for quite some time because it's change is scary. Oh, the Four of Swords reverse. Somebody's been involved in a dead end situation but holding on to it because uh, it hurts. It's a dead end. Look at it's a dead end situation. I don't want it's, it's like he's grieving. What's that on a casket? Somebody's been holding on to a holding on to a dead end situation when it's time to stand up and 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 you know go your own way as much even if it hurts. Reluctant to move on. Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, somebody has been holding on to a situation that is very stormy. There's a lot of, uh, what's the word? Oh, turbulence in the relationship. They're holding on to it. Why? This is, you need to move on, but you're, you're so afraid to. Afraid to move on. Afraid to be alone? Is that what this is? Is somebody afraid to be alone? So they're staying in a toxic situation? You need to be assertive. This is the, the, um, Knight of Swords. No, the Page of Swords. Sorry. Is the Page of Swords. You need to communicate your truth. You need to speak up. You're, you're probably going to receive some message from somebody that isn't what you want to hear and it's in regards to some sort of sexual relation for some of you or it's in regards to a toxic situation whatever it is it's in regards to some sort of deception okay you're going to receive a message in regards to some sort of deception and it's going to overwhelm you i mean i can't pretend it's going to be overwhelming it's going to be heavy to carry it's not, it's, it's probably not what you're going to want to hear. Maybe you've already received that message and now you need to find, find the courage to drop it, whatever it is. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could receive, you could be receiving the message from a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person who doesn't think before they talk, or sometimes they do, sometimes they do it maliciously. You're probably going to receive a message from, from somebody that doesn't care if they hurt you. Okay, they don't care if they hurt They're going to say it anyway. They're going to tell you something, and it's probably not going to be pretty. And it may, you know, help you to move in a new direction slowly. might make you take another step. This is a test. The, the Knight of Pentacles is my test card. You have an opportunity. This is a golden opportunity to head out of this situation. You see where I put the card? Out. Out. You're going to receive an op you're going to receive a message that gives you an opportunity to head out of this toxic situation, whatever it is. But no. <laughs> You may not have the mental strength to do so. You may feel like you aren't strong enough. You may feel like you don't want to be alone. There's codependency issues here. There absolutely is. You have... You have the strength within you. You can find that force within you. You can. But you're going to have to take the lead. You may feel really... Weak at the knees when you reach when you receive this message, whatever it is. I'm sorry, I don't like to give these kinds of messages, but this is lack of discipline. This is a loss of self. I mean, and this is you. The the chariot card reverse is loss of self. 
So you may feel like you may feel like you need to go into some sort of repression when you receive this message because somebody lied to you or somebody cheated on you or there was some cheating or somebody cheated and the secret comes out, whatever the case is. The death card. Oh man. So we have an ending that brings about a new beginning. A transformation, a, a release, a transition. So whatever is happening this month is bringing you to a new place, a brand new place where you start you start fresh, you start a, a new chapter. Endings bring new beginnings. That's, that's the meaning of this card. It's a release. Whatever has happened, whatever, whatever test you were presented with is going to bring you a new beginning. That's the truth. And it's going to be a really beautiful new beginning because it's a fresh start. I think somebody had a love affair. I do. Lovers reversed. And, and now there's a contract <laughs> that is ending. Somebody was seduced by another person. And they made the wrong decision. And now a contract is ending because of it. That's what I... I'm sorry. Oh, God. So, Cancer, yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's an ending here. There's a major completion that is happening in your life. Then in the end, it's going to bring you more victory. See the gold? It's going to bring you the gold. But it's going to be painful. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be that reader that lies, Okay. There's a painful ending here of a false contract in which somebody probably got naked with somebody else, okay? I mean, I can't make this shit up. All right? So when that kind of happens, shit goes awry. So it doesn't look good. It looks like your your uh, perseverance is going to be tested, and you know there's probably somebody's going to probably make a decision to end it, even though they don't want to end it because of codependency. I'm scared to end it, but in the end, you're going to get the justice you deserve. You are. You are going to receive something that is going it's going to bring balance to your life trust me even though it's not easy you're going to get what you deserve it's going to in increase your abundance trust me it is so you are going to receive an increase of some sort because it's going to at least it's going to increase the balance within your life. It's going to bring some balance back to your life because when you're not holding on to a lie, when you're not holding on to a secret, something that you know deep down inside, when it comes out, when the truth comes out, it's immediate release with the death card. It's like whew, it's a relief. It's a relief. So, you know, you are going to regain some balance and harmony in your life, even though it may be painful, okay? So, yeah, it's at the ending of something that uh, really, really hurts you. I think you somebody has been betrayed in this situation, and I feel like... <laughs> The sun card reversed. There's no more growth. It's like this is gone. It's done. It's uh, there's since this has happened, we can't move forward. There's too much negativity now in the situation. There's no more growth. But in the end, you are going to find happiness in your new beginning because you're going to get what you deserve. You're and the other person's going to get what they deserve too. Trust me. That's the law of karma. Happily ever after. There's an ending of run relationship in the beginning, which leads 
to happiness in a different direction. I'm telling you what, this is a completion. A lot of people don't mention that. They say, oh, just happily ever. No, this is the ending of one. It's the completion of something that leads to happiness. You're going to get what you deserve. You're going to get happily ever after. But it's not going to be endings bring new beginnings. Okay, It's not going to be with this person who cheated you. So you are headed towards victory and success and happily ever after. When this transition and this release happens. Yeah, there's definitely a transformation, a transition on the horizon, both these cards. It's the, you guys are headed towards more balance and harmony in your life after you release. And I know that's hard to fathom. But that's what I see here. There's healing. This is a card of healing. So right now, you may be going through a period of healing. This is also a card of divine timing. So be patient. This is a card of patience. Patience. Healing will lead you towards happily ever after and victory and success. You need to heal from this ultimate betrayal. Heal from this, this whatever happened. So I feel like this is a time of some sort of truth coming out in regards to some... sort of adultery or something and you may need to uh, say goodbye heal and you will get what you deserve in divine timing are you gonna get get it this month happily ever this month if you've healed this if you've healed if you've transitioned there is an opportunity for happily ever after absolutely there is but right now, somebody is emotionally unavailable, shut down, because they were stabbed so badly, hurt so badly. I mean, I can't say that you're going to get love or you're going to fall in love or you're even going to want love when you're still grieving this loss. So I feel like you guys are still going through a period of healing. And in divine timing, your happily ever after will come. But right now, it's a very stressful time in which, you know, you may be feeling a little overwhelmed, okay? It's really heavy. You need, to, you haven't dropped it yet. It's, it hasn't been, the baggage is still there. You need to drop it completely and heal to get your happiness. So is, 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 the per partner of your dreams coming this month? I don't think, I, I can't say. No, I don't think so. I think that you will get there. But this is also a 10, which is a completion. Okay? You have to heal. You have to complete this cycle first. So Cancer, I feel like this is a month of healing. It's a, it's a time of evolving. It's a, it's a time of transformation. You may, may be going through some sort of repression as you come to grips with whatever it is that happened. But you are going to get what you deserve in a good way. Two cards for Cancer. You could end up having a commitment, a commitment with a Taurus, happily ever after, okay, or a Sagittarius, or a Pisces. But we have this down here, that's, this is also a Pisces, I don't know if you're dealing with one, but this is deception, lies. Somebody's been lying, and you know it. 
You know it. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. However that resonates with you. If you're ready, if you're healed, and you have somebody in mind, and you're, you're done grieving, because this can signify done grieving as well, and you're ready to open your heart, but somebody's not ready because this is reversed, go ahead. Make the romantic gesture. Go ahead. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You know, I think you guys get this card a lot. A lot. And I, that could be the problem. And the devil will do that. The devil will bring you people based on ego. This is a very egotistical card. And remember I said this is my test card? Interesting, interesting. And there's you. Not making the right decision. This is my test card. This is ego based on looks. Ego chooses looks. And I know that I mean, I, and I, there's going to get somebody underneath that says, oh, i got to be attracted. Well, yeah, I know that. that. Yeah, right. You don't need to comment that. But your, your, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. If you keep on choosing people based on their looks and they keep hurting you, maybe you need to look beyond the surface. And I mean, this is a karmic lesson. It really is. If you feed your ego based on whatever it is, you're going to continue to get Liars and players and demons. This card, and I know you've had it multiple times, I know you have, says that your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is a test. Do you want to keep dealing with the same kind of people that lie to you? Or do you want the real deal? Your soulmate doesn't look like the rest that you've been with. Your lessons do, though. Good luck.